I'm Taylor. I'm the fourth year MedPeds Chief Resident here at our program at WMed in Kalamazoo. Thank you for your interest in our program. I hope this video gives you an idea of what we do here at WMed and in Kalamazoo. Let's start with clinic. Every week at WMed, we have continuity clinic, and you'll have a half day either in the morning or in the afternoon. And then for each day of our um, continuity clinic, we have dedicated time to see adult patients, and then the other half is dedicated to see pediatric patients. In our clinic, we have subspecialists for the pediatrics. We also have a pharmacy on the first floor of our building, in addition to social work, case manager, and pharmacists available. Point of care ultrasound is used frequently both inpatient and outpatient here at WMed. One of the most unique things here at WMed is that we offer an osteopathic track which is available to both DOs and MDs. At WMed we have access to a sim center with the med school and we get to work with students and work with state-of-the-art equipment to practice scenarios and other procedures. Here at WMed MedPeds we have both internal medicine and pediatrics didactics. Wednesdays are a half day dedicated to internal medicine and Friday mornings are dedicated to our pediatrics. We rotate in both Bronson and Borges Hospital for pediatrics and internal medicine. Both these hospitals are roughly centers with a big catchment area in southwest Michigan. For our inpatient pediatric experience, we get to rotate at Bronson Children's Hospital, which is one of the major pediatric hospitals in Southwest Michigan, which makes this a very important safety net hospital for the region. We also have multiple pediatric specialists that we work with, both inpatient and outpatient. <laughs> There. Uh, Bronson is at level one trauma center and Borges is level two. We get a whole bunch of different complex cases uh, at both hospitals, but Bronson especially. I love living in Kalamazoo because I feel that uh, it's a city of 100,000 people roughly uh, with the metro areas of Kalamazoo and Portage combined. And what that means is that it's big enough to support a regular city life and it's big enough to get you good exposure and training, but it's also not as big as to have all the problems that bigger cities have, you know, with all the traffic that comes and the living expenditure, which is much more affordable and much more manageable here in Kalamazoo. It's, a, it's really a college town, so I love the vibe and the vibrancy, especially of the multiple shops and new restaurants and cafes in downtown. It really is not a boring moment. Peace. Together, Together we succeed! succeed.